the third race, the Exit 16 W Man, final. Noble Crusader, love them and leave them. A solid Blair Burgess entry. Tulane goes for a sweep. Love them and leave them around the first turn. And Noble Crusader leads it a length and a half. Fire everybody. Second them on the outside. Love them and leave them. Off stride is fire everybody. Fire everybody on the brake. Scatters the field a bit. Tulane is settled in third. Another two back to traveling man. Then two and a half. Courier Hanover. Three more. Forward direction. Length and a half to Austin. With Mr. Mikey and Fancy Creek Ideal. 27 seconds for the quarter. And Noble Crusader by two. Love him and leave him. Has dropped in second. Traveling man. Tough first over trip third. Then it's Tulane in fourth. Courier Hanover up on the rim fifth. Forward direction of the outer flow six. Fancy Creek Ideal seventh. Two more to Austin and Mr. Mikey. Halftime, 57 and one. Big time breather for Noble Crusader there in that second quarter. Pressure from traveling man. Wren looking behind for the competition. Love him and leave him in third. And then it's Courier Hanover upon the rim fourth. They approach three quarters. And Noble Crusader. Wren will look to put it in another gear now. But still, traveling man not going away. Three quarters and one, 25 and three. Three sixteenths to go and they're on their way home. Noble Crusader getting leg weary. Trying to move through an opening on the inside is love him and leave him. Campbell right there with Courier Hanover. And Fancy Creek Ideal and Brennan in deep stretch. It's Courier Hanover in front by two and staying there. Courier Hanover wins the exit 16W. Fancy Creek Ideal second in 153 and two. The stretch drive claiming its victims tonight. The winner, a $170,000 yearling injured at two, brought back perfectly by Renee Larman. Now the senior trendsetter champ is eight for 13 lifetime, four for six here. The Arts Place four-year-old still green, according to John Campbell, but loaded with talent. Conditioned here by Bruce Saunders for Robert Grand Holdings of Campbellville, Ontario.